So today's project is to remove the z-axis and to do so we uh, have to remove this um, steel block here. Um, there's one on each side and they're held there by these uh, bolts so we have to uh, take away these bolts and there's also this uh, hose there uh, for the way lube uh, that we uh, have to take so I'm gonna free um, or loosen this bolt and um, detach it there so that it comes with uh, the block and we have to do this on both sides I'm going to uh, be using uh, pretty much every straps uh, I have available because uh, it's a heavy part and it's a pretty scary operation. Um, especially that uh, this, I don't know how you call this in English, I guess a, a crane or something. Um, in order to be, uh, for the both uh, legs extensions to be uh, wide enough, I had to uh, modify it like this. like holding it with C-clamps and a bit scary. Here I'm loosening uh, all the screws that hold the, the blocks on each side, but I'm leaving a few threads. And uh, then uh, when I, you know, uh, lift with the, the crane, uh, I can remove screws one at a time and release very slowly uh, the, the parts so that, uh, you know, nothing goes wrong and I can control uh, how it's released and I'm super happy uh, how it went it was super smooth I've been thinking about this all week and uh, yeah great relief and this is what it looks uh, with the z-axis off so it's ready it's ready for uh, cleaning probably buffing and uh, repainting so that's going to be uh, the next step, the next video, I guess. So again, thank you so much for watching and see you soon.